Johnny Lee is the guy that, that came up with this, but actually his software is not compatible with Windows 7. So this other software, Smoothboard, which is actually free, I downloaded this, and Smoothboard is compatible with Windows 7 64-bit. Okay. So then I just launched this with my um, projector. I have the Wii Remote up here, which I'm going to calibrate in a second. Now notice, there is a free version, and the only thing that, that comes up is this you know, little unregistered version every, every few seconds it tells you to do that. Okay. Okay, so then what I do is, once smooth, Smoothboard launches, this is calibrating. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to turn on this Wii Remote, and then I'm going to line this up here. While the, while the rest of this is calibrating, I have to hold down the 1 and 2 button, and then click this. And you see it'll be learning, learning. I love how they have a button that says stop learning. And then as soon as it says installing, I'm gonna, I'll be good here, and this will just take a few more seconds. Yeah, I love that it has a button that says stop learning. Okay, so you Don't can, ever press that button. In case you uh, get hosed up and you just can't take any more that, learning. <laughs> that's right. So um, that initial thing, I, you know, the Wii Remote has to be on, I hold down those buttons, right. and, then it cal and then it does this. So then I go to here, quick calibration, I click on this with the mouse. And one of the things I had to get, and I decided to splurge and actually drop 17 bucks on this because I want the infrared pen to be nice. So this button click just uh, clicks the infrared pen, which is the equivalent of a mouse click. So I calibrate it, click up here, click up here, click up here, and click here. And now it's calibrated, so then when I click on this, that was a click, and I'm moving this and I can minimize it just as a mouse. Wow. And, you know, I can launch the web. Um, but you have to touch the board with that. Right. I yeah, I touch the board and then press this button, which is the equivalent of a mouse click. Okay, which is cool. And so now all of this works. Click up here. Because it's not an electronic screen. You can't touch it with your fingers. That's right. Yeah, that, yeah touch it with my fingers. Right. I, in fact, even touching this doesn't do it. I have to press this button, which sends that infrared signal. Right. Which the Wii Remote detects. The end of this Wii Remote is an infrared camera. Okay. And then it sends it via Bluetooth to the computer, which runs the software. The screen. Right. And it actually knows where I click here. Where it, it's detecting that so if you area. if you collect underneath the sketchboard right or no, yeah, no, I, no. I, I, this is one of my favorites here this graphing calculator Desmos they, th this I've always liked this and for the new year they actually added some interesting features including um, you know you can even create a table where you can type in you know your x values instead of y I can even put the equation here now this v, is where your, v your laptop right now this is where um, actually, I could bring the computer up here. I can oh, type it in here. Nice. They have all of this so here. So you have to just touch it with I can put thing. Y, I have an equals button here. Right. You know, 3X. Cool. And then when I hit enter, I get this, this end. But the other thing that I really like with this, so I'm going to minimize this for a second here, is a separate issue, I have a TI-84 calculator program. Nice. So when I'm demonstrating something for the calculator, I can bring this up and now when I show the students, oh, let's do, you know, let's do something on the calculator, I can, you know, I can have the entire big calculator here and I say, oh, let's go to the Y equals, you know, enter something, you know, oh, we're going to, um, Let's, uh, you know, talk about our lists, or I want to show them, you know, go to this menu. I can, I can bring it all up and, you know, and, and exactly work this entire calculator here. Amazing. Now, the other thing is, this minimizes over here. So this smart board does also come with this toolbar of stuff. So if I'm working on something, you know, let's say... I want to highlight, I have this, and I just want to draw my graph. This is part of that smart board software. Okay. I can just click on the pen, and I can draw a line. Oh, that's fantastic, man. Fantastic. You see? Fantastic. And, you know, I, you know, I have the eraser. I can draw different shapes. I can change the color of my line. Um, the other thing I can do is highlight different things. Um, 
Yeah, all kinds of Pretty much ways. everything you can do on a smartboard. Right, and then with if I had to just erase that layer, I could just click here and it erases the layer of what I've been doing. Fantastic. Um, there's a highlighter so I can, you know, say, oh, take a look at this part. Um, you know, I can, uh, oh, there was that, what, which one did I want to highlight? Well, anyway, there was a, the pen, like I can pick yellow if I want so that then I can, you know, highlight, right, you know, draw right. this. I said, oh, I wanted that a little bit differently. You know, I can cross it out and start over. Right. Well, I, Marker, and then we pick a different. Oh, this is the highlight. Like I okay, right, right. So I can do the marker, and I say, oh, the pen, and I don't want. I want it to be blue because that's my favorite color. Right. So you know. There you go. That's what I was looking for. This. Right. This is good. Right. And you see, my, my penmanship. My penmanship is okay to begin that's with. Right, but, but with this marker, it's just so is... so. But then I can also. This is where I can highlight. I can right. click on this as a highlighter, and I can just.